So hello everyone, it's Karav and today we are diving deep into one of the most exciting tech today. So Google Willow Quantum Chip, what it can do, how it work and how it could shape the future of AI medication material and how much. So let's jump into it. So before starting the video, I checked the stats. Only 15% of the people who watch my video actually subscribe my channel and rest of them not subscribed yet. And if you like this video, please subscribe, hit the subscribe button. It will help me also. So let's get started. The chip is called Willow and it is a quantum processor developed by Google Quantum AI Group. So some headline number, it uses around 105 physical qubits. In its architecture, Google has revealed that Willow can perform a benchmark competition in under 5 minutes that they estimate would take a classical supercomputer something like 10 septillion years that is 10 raised to power 25 to complete. Importantly, Willow also demonstrates significantly improved quantum error correction. As you scale more physical qubits, the error rate for the logic qubit go down, which is the huge breakthrough. So let's break down how does it works. So there are classic versus computing. In classic computer, we have bits, zero or ones. So, but in quantum computers, we have qubits, which can be zero, one or both at the same time. That's the superposition. They can also be entangled with one another, meaning the state of one is uh, correlated with the state of another, even when separated. So, uh, furthermore, qubits and operation. So, the difference between qubits and operations are qubits are se uh, sensitive. Interaction with the environment cause errors. Quantum gates and circuits operate by manipulating qubit states. With scaled up, they can explore many possibilities in parallel, which is where speed ups come. But the fragile means error correction in critical. So the Willow's architecture uses superconductor qubits and a grid architecture where they have built arrays, for example, 3 into 3, 5 into 5, 7 into 7 of physical qubit to encode one logical qubit. This is the surface code approach for error uh, correction. So actually the key breakthrough as the size of this lattice increases more physical qubit per logical qubit. The error rate reduces exponentially. That means the more you upscale properly, the better the logical qubit becomes. Willow announced in December 2024 and described a major step towards a large scale fault so what actually the benchmark means right now? The fact that Willow solved a benchmark task in literally just in minutes compared to astronomical time for a classic computer is proof of quantum supremacy, a task no logical computer illegally but not yet full quantum advantage. So you may be curious what are the use cases and what does it mean? So, okay, now why should we care what will Willow enable or hint towards in the next 5 to 10 years? So, there are many things like the drug discovery and molecular modeling. So, many molecules and chemical systems are very hard for classical computer to stimulate between a, uh, because of quantum interactions. A quantum computer like Willow could model uh, molecules more precisely help design new drugs, material and catalysts. So Google blog mentioned that Willow have a different way of solving issues in chemistry and material energy. So what is the role in material science and energy? Designing new materials lighter, stronger or more efficient are often made by this. Also operation problems from grid battery energy systems. So it is also helpful in AI and data generation. Like Google have talked about the quantum computing generating new kinds of data sets for AI because if you can simulate system in new way, you get new training data and insight for machine learning. Also, al a quantum algorithm may enhance optimization research and certain subtasks in AI. So why is this breakthrough actually important? It shows empirical evidence that error correction scaling in working. When you use more qubit properly, you can accurately improve logical fidelities. That was a big hurdle for the last 30 years. It gave confidence that uh, quantum hardware is moving from novel lab curiosity to real scientific tools territory. By achieving a competition so far out of reach of classical computers, 
it resets the expectations for what is possible so actually this part is one of the most crucial like how you might engage what to watch for and since you are passionate about ai and ml tech innovations here are some practical things to keep on eye of uh, so courses and tutorial google offer resources around quantum error corrections and the open source quantum program libraries like crq by google is something you can experiment with so even if you don't have a quantum computer you can simulate quantum circuits learn quantum algorithms so think about a hybrid architecture many near terms will be using quantum plus classical working together so your video editing ai ml background cloud be highly relentless in design so here's actually a study and a career advice if all this quantum computing stuff ex excites you and you want to actually work with it someday here's a simple road map like degree that will help most people start with computer science physics and electrical engineering or mathematics a solid foundation is this give you the tool to understand qubits circuits and algorithm so next is what to study focus on uh, quantum mechanics basics linear algebra probability and programming you can also explore quantum programming language like crq or quit uh, quiz kit Google and IBM both have free tutorials. Hand on experience, you don't need any uh, your own quantum computer. Many companies offer cloud based quantum simulations. You can practice design algorithm simulations, circuits, or even contribute to research pro projects online. So, the, at the end, career path quantum computing opens door in AI and ML, D drug discovery, cryptography, material science, and research lab. Big tech companies like Google, IBM, Microsoft, and startups are hiring people who know how to think quantumly. So, even as a student or beginner, if you start small learning the math, programming, and quantum logics, you can slowly build a career that actually uses chips like Willow. So thanks for watching. If you find this useful, like, share and comment and let me know what quantum topic you would like me to cover next. See you next time. Thanks for watching.